Hello, Bridge of Hope. Uh, Happy New Year. I'm here with Grace. She's eating my, the carrier because <laughs> her gums are itchy. But I want to welcome you to Children's Church this morning. And thank you for joining us in this new year. It is incredible to think that we are already in a new year. Thank God. So today, join us to study about what happens after Jesus was born. And so we can kind of take it from there and see what God has to say to us. So thank you for joining us. God bless you. And let's enjoy together this new year. See you at 11 a.m. And see you next week at 10 a.m. Bye-bye. Bye, Grace. Hey, guys. Here's some tips to help you with service today. Tip number one. Listen and pay attention until the end. Tip number two. Sing and participate in each activity. Tip number three. Try to remember the key verse from today. See you later. My God is strong. He'll do anything big or small.
in John 10, 30. Got it. I and the Father are one. Would you like me to read you the main story? Sure. Almost all we know of Jesus' childhood between infancy and age 12 is a summary in Luke 2.40. It appears that even though he had no sins, he developed as a normal child would. When he was 12 and traveled with his parents, his parents got on the road, not noticing that Jesus was left behind in Jerusalem. When his parents realized that he wasn't in their caravan, they went back to get him. When they arrived, Jesus was discussing God's word with some of the best teachers. It is significant that Jesus was found sitting among the teachers. In that culture, a rabbi sat with when he taught. The fact that Jesus was sitting might, I, might indicate that he was already viewed as a teacher. Luke 2, 7, 2, 47 states that the teachers in the temple were impressed by what he understood and by the answers he gave. This replies, implies that them, they will ask, were asking him questions as well as answering his. Hey guys, welcome back to Get Fit with Dawn. Where we exercise to make your heart stronger and always, of course, healthier. Just like we can exercise to make your heart and body stronger, we can also exercise to make your heart and face stronger by reading the Bible, studying the Bible, and more. Today's exercise is the ups. This works your abs. I'll demonstrate the modification. I mean, I'll demonstrate the rear one. Here I'll demonstrate the modification. So first, you're going to want to get in. You're going to lay down on your back. And then you're going to come up. And you're going to remember to put your feet up too. And then you're going to make sure that your fingertips touch your toes. Like this. Okay, go ahead, Gary. Thanks, Ross. So, now what you're going to do for the modification is you're going to first lay down by Austin Mitt, but it's going to be a little change. You're going to do this, and then once you're going to put your feet up like this, and you're going to keep your legs straight. Instead of going up, you're going to keep like this, and your knees are going to be bent. So it's going to look like this. Go up and keep your arms straight, and then back down. Up again, keep your arms straight, and then back down. So pick which one works the best for you. We're going to do this five times. Happy New Year! I hope everyone has an amazing 2022. Hello, Bridge of Hope. I'm Brielle Lamb, and welcome to another episode of Bridge Kids Storytime. Today's story is Jesus Grows Up. Today's story can be found in Luke chapter 2, verses 39 through 52. And now for our cast, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, 
And now for our story. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus traveled to Jerusalem for Passover, as they did every year faithfully to demonstrate their commitment to God. This visit was important because Jesus was now 12 years old, which meant he was ready to prepare to take his place in the religious community that would happen when he turned 13. One day during the visit, Mary and Joseph couldn't find Jesus. They searched all over anxiously until they found him in the temple among the teachers. Mary rushed to Jesus and asked him why he left from their side. Jesus responded that he needed to be a part of his father's work. Jesus' presence in the temple was significant because it indicated that the teacher saw him as a knowledgeable teacher. At such a young age, Jesus understood much of the teaching and he recognized God's will as a priority. And that was Bridge Kids Story Time! Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus and his example. Help us be more like him. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, welcome to Bridge of Hope Craft Corner. I'm Miss Erin, and today in our lesson, we learned about how Jesus, as a boy and as a young man, went to God's house, the church, or the temple, to serve the Lord. Jesus is our example of how to lead our lives. So we should go to God's house, the church, to serve him. And we should be glad and joyful when we do it. I'm going to tell you the things you need to make your craft today. You'll need crayons or markers. Either one, you're going to need them for decorating your paper. You're going to need a glue stick, or you can use Elmer's glue, a Sharpie or a pen. You're going to need popsicle sticks for however many people you have in your family. You'll need popsicle sticks, one to represent each person. Some various colored paper and scissors, some scissors. Oh, I forgot some things. An envelope and a sheet of paper. It can be a white sheet of paper. It can be coral like mine. It can be any color. All right, let's get to it. So the verse we're going to focus on today is Psalm 122 and verse 1. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. So you're going to write that in your top corner here. Next, you're going to take your envelope. So you want it to be facing this way where it's got the pocket, right? And you're going to put glue on the back of that envelope and you're gonna stick it down on your paper, okay? Then you're going to decorate this like it's a house. Now, remember I said you need popsicle sticks, one for each person in your family. So you can cut out like I'm gonna do, you can cut out different little pieces of clothes to put on them and put them, glue them together so I'm going to do some work, and I'll be back. Okay, after all that work, we finally have our finished product. So I made four little people to represent the four people that live in my house. Can you guess which one's me? I also took the envelope, glued it down to my paper with the open side right here, and see I made it look like a house. It doesn't look like my house, but it looks like a house. And the verse that I told you to write now you take your little people 
Yes. Stick them in the envelope, just like you're sticking them in the house. All right, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed Craft Corner today, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Listen